guess that's one way to quash a rebellion. I have to wonder if this was always the plan. What, to slaughter all the colonists? No, to lure them here in hopes of finding a utopia, only to rob them of everything that they have. Mm, we are dealing with a bunch of pirates. Oh, that is pretty diabolical, even for pirates. <clears throat> Need your help for a sec. Those things don't look steady. They're not. Be careful. Excuse me. Welcome to Avery's neighborhood. It's a nice place. <laughs> if you don't mind some structural problems and water damage. Yeah, clearly some drainage issues. <laughs> a real fixer-upper opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Looks like somebody blew that dam and then flooded the whole place. You know, I forgot. Pretty good at this. All right, so which one of these do you think is Avery's? Uh, my money's on that one. The one that's still intact. Ah. You're not so bad at this either. Yeah, well, you know, I've had a little practice. I've read a few books. Shit, no, shit. What? What? The front door. Sam. He's still alive. And yeah, for now. Come on. All right, keep your eyes open for shoreline types. Yep. There goes nothing. Whoops! You all right? Yeah. Through here, watch your head. Ooh, someone had it in for this guy. Oh, another old note. Hmm? 
all this for one man? For everything. You're really asking me that? Jesus, I think that's it. You okay? Yeah. Let's push on. Might be a way through this cave. Yeah, it's worth a look.
Bring here, Nadine. She does have an entire army. <clears throat> Think they found the treasure? Well, let's hope not. For Sam's sake. Look, there's something here. It's addressed to Richard Watt. It's signed Adam Baldrige. They were both founders? Yeah. Looks like they were turning on each other, but why? Greed, paranoia, money. Yeah, well, more money, more problems. Look, we can climb up there. Yeah, but it's too high, even for a boost. Then let's look around. After you. Oh, how sweet. You want me to be your decoy? No. I was being gentlemanly there. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Yeah, well, the chops are plenty busted already. Thank you. Again? Tired, bruised? Well, hungry. I could eat. <laughs> Other than that, fine. <laughs> yeah. Whew, okay, come on. Let's keep going. Come on. Let's try cutting through this house. Yeah. I'm right behind you.
It's beautiful. Oh, what's this? Jesus. Not all Lord of the Flies in here. No kidding. Yeah, let's just hope we're not too late. Hey, check it out. These cannons look like they were retrofitted. Yeah, improvised defenses. Guess they didn't expect they'd be fighting each other. Guess not. Ooh, nice water feature. Time for another swim, I guess. Made it. I'll find a way up for you. This should work. All right, stand clear. Here you go. Hey, great. Let's move this out of the way. Yep. Hey, look. Thomas II's sigil. So we're in his mansion. Second in command. Going up the pirate hierarchy. found the party looks like we're a little late <laughs> hey Nate check it out it's another sigil oh my god what it's them Elena, these other pirate captains have founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and Liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. 
Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. These are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant at this very table. It's incredible. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. There, for posterity. Hey, up here, slowly. Be careful. Oh, oh. I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top. Hey. Hi. Shoreline truck is still there. Yeah, I see it. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? And we are officially inside Henry Avery's house. More cannons, just like a two's mansion. I guess the poison is mightier than the cannon. What? You know, because he ended up poisoning... Yeah, that was bad. Sorry? Yeah, pretty bad. Word of the day? Ostentatious. So why didn't he kill Thomas too? Was he like his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. 
And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. <laughs> 